Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be giving a review on the Chanel Rectangular Vanity with Chain. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if this is your first time here. My name is Emma and I make weekly videos about luxury handbags, shoes, fashion and lifestyle. So if that is something you are interested in, please consider subscribing to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. I hope that everyone is doing well today, wherever you are in the world. I'm so excited to start reviewing this bag. I'm so sorry that it's like the dullest day ever in Brisbane here. It is like overcast, rainy, there is no natural light at all to speak of. Uh, so I'm going to do my best to show all the details of the bag. Let's get right into it. So we're going to cover five areas today. So specifications of the bag, the price and availability, the pros and the cons of the bag. Um, as well as what fits inside which I think is crucial for a bag this size and also some mod shots as well so when I was researching this bag prior to buying it I noticed um, that it wasn't really available in, in the boutiques so I couldn't really go and look at it to see how it looked on my figure um, and I also couldn't go and check exactly what it fit especially my phone so I found it really really useful to look at YouTube videos and um, just to get as much information as I could before I committed to buying the bag so that being said, I hope you find this review useful. Let's get into it. So let's take a look at the specifications first of all. So Chanel technically class this as an SLG. Um, I mean, it has got a chain that fits on your shoulder and crossbody. And you'll see in a minute when I open it up, it even has card slots in the back. So I don't know how many people carried their credit cards in their vanity um, and have a chain for their vanity. Chanel obviously know people are going to use this as a bag um, and it is big enough to fit a phone as I will show you as well later on. So yes, handbag, SLG, whatever. I think most people are going to be using this as a bag. So this particular one is from pre-spring summer 2021 collection. It is in raffia and it has a lambskin um, base as well. There are loads of different variations of this bag available. It's a seasonal piece and Chanel just bring out different ones um, each season. So I've seen them in full lambskin. I've seen them in caviar. Um, they came out with a really, really cute top handle. I've seen ones that have had kind of like bejeweled um, detail on the chain as well. Um, yeah, but really, really popular item. It is um, a good size. So it measures 17 centimeters across here. It fits my phone, which is the Samson S21 in a regular size, but I had a bigger phone before that and it fits, fit that as well. I'm not sure about the larger iPhones. I'm not an iPhone user, sorry guys. Um, and then it is 10 centimeters high up here. And then the depth of it is eight centimeters. And because of kind of like the boxy shape, there is actually a lot of room inside, despite the fact that it looks small. And you can pack a fairly large amount of your essentials in here, which is absolutely awesome. So mine has the raffia in this kind of an alternating black and natural tone. Then the base is lambskin. And then there's also lambskin detail on the two zippers here. The champagne gold hardware with the CC. And then it has a shoulder and chain. Again, the champagne gold interwoven with leather. And you see how similar to how the trendy. And um, so you see the strap just kind of falls into the top of the vanity, uh, which makes it really, really useful for storage. And it keeps it uh, nice and protected like that. So yeah, really dinky, cute little SLG. So let's have a look inside. So it's lined with fabric. Mine's in the black color. And you can see here, I haven't even taken out the little card thingamajiggities, but it's got three um, spaces there for your credit card and then it has a little lipstick compartment there as well which is kind of the only nod to this actually being a vanity uh, but you can see there's a fairly large amount of space in there so let's discuss price and availability so again there is heaps and heaps of different variations available and um, obviously mine is raffia so it's going to be slightly cheaper than the full leather versions but this just depends on what season you're buying from what they have in store as well and um, at the time of you going in so when this came out on the website in early 2021, it retailed for $2,230. By the time I was interested in it, it was about two months after it had first um, hit the stores. So I went into my local boutique and um, asked my SA if they had any in stock. They didn't have any in Brisbane. and um, They had one in Western Australia in Perth, but it was not in this colorway. It was the natural, but it had like a sort of an orangey red um, stripe to it instead of the black which I'd seen online and it was beautiful but it just wasn't something that was going to go in my wardrobe necessarily uh, but in terms of this color combination there weren't any in Australia by that point so she offered to order the one from Perth and I kind of thought about it but I mean it's a lot of money for something that you don't 
think is going to necessarily fit in your wardrobe and um, so I just held off on it and then thankfully two days later I was shopping um, online on one of my favorite resellers and um, the Purse Affair down in, in Melbourne and they had this one available and they were selling it for 2300 so only $70 more than retail um, and it came with a full set box uh, dust bag it had all the stickers intact so it was basically brand new uh, so I got it for 2300 now for this exact same bag now I will insert a picture from exactly the same retailer that I bought this from and it goes for over four and a half thousand dollars now uh, which is absolutely crazy because <laughs> it's not even a handbag it's an SLG right um, and it's not full leather so wild in terms um, of the other variations of this bag they're also really really popular my essay did say that I think any SLG that can be used as a bag because it can be a slightly cheaper price point is just really 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 popular and sells out quite quickly um, so yes it might be a little bit tricky to get it from the boutiques but you never know you can absolutely get lucky if not the reseller or the pre-love market has absolutely loads of them available as well so you can definitely pick them up um, from there um, but yes there's a couple on the Chanel website at the moment there's this really really cute top handle one and this beautiful burgundy colour um, which is you know around the 4000 mark a lot of money right um, and then they have a black version which is even more money which has these beautiful gemstones um, in the chain gorgeous so yeah like I said every season Chanel do bring out like a slightly different version um, of the rectangular vanity all of them are absolutely gorgeous uh, but yes I can see why it is a very popular item so let's go through the pros first of all. So the first pro in my opinion is how cute this little bag is, or this SLG is. Um, it is so gorgeous and dinky. I really love the shape. It's very kind of ergonomic having this um, kind of beautiful boxy rectangular bag with the rounded corners. I really enjoy as well how the hardware and the details are in proportion to the bag. So it's got like, the mini um, CC detailing here. I really love the kind of um, detail that's gone into, the thought that's gone into having the little leather tabs on the zips there. I really enjoy how the strap falls into the bag as well. It makes a really satisfying sound. That's a weird pro. Um, yeah, so it, it is a good looking bag. Um, it's really, really, really cute, um, but it still is very functional, which I really enjoy as well. So it does fit your phone, um, depending on the phone you have. That's another big pro because you know these mini bags and you get them, you know, oh my gosh, all they fit is like one credit card. Um, not the case with this one you can put all of your essentials in this absolutely love it um, another pro is the versatility in terms of wearing the bag so there is a decent length here on the strap so you can wear it on your shoulder i will show in the mod shots but you can also wear it cross body as well um, and i think you'll be able to do that even if you were on the taller side because it is quite a decent generous strap um, and i would say as well that another pro of this is the price point so obviously everything on chanel is just outrageously expensive like we know that but there is a big difference between the handbags and the slgs so i do think um it is beneficial to shop in that kind of middle zone of an slg that can be used as a bag and this perfectly fall, falls into that category so um this was you know under two and a half thousand dollars retail which is fantastic i don't know if they would ever bring that price back um, but even now you know it's under five thousand australian dollars which for a chanel Oh, apparently that's now good value in terms of Chanel. I know it's so expensive, right? Um, but yes, you can get the look of a bag for a slightly more affordable price point if you are wanting to buy into the Chanel brand. Um, so that definitely has to be a pro as well. Okay, so let's look at the cons now. So in my opinion, the most obvious con of this bag is the accessibility when you're trying to open it. So just um, imagine for a second, this bag is on your shoulder, you're at dinner, you, maybe you've got your credit card, you're paying for something with one hand, or you've got your phone and you're using it in one hand. And with the other hand, you're trying to open this bag. It's basically impossible. So um, I guess even if you were resting it kind of against your leg, you would really be having to... Um, Kind of work your fingers pretty hard to be able to get into this single-handedly it's not going to happen even if you did once um the contents of um your bag was in here the weight of that you see would just topple and everything would just fall out of your bag anyway because it's so bottom heavy so in order to open it um, quickly and safely you do need to use both your hands so I would definitely be considering that because I didn't realize how annoying that would be until I had already bought the bag and was using it and um, that you do definitely need to have both of your hands free in order to open and close this bag 
the second con of this particular one and possibly the lambskin as well would be the durability and um, so raffia is not known um, for being the most hard wearing of materials this actually is in pristine condition i keep it in its dust bag always and store it upright and there's actually no wear and tear at all to speak of on this bag so i'm really really happy with that but i do see that if you use this bag a lot and you didn't um, baby it necessarily it could and become damaged quite quickly same with the lambskin we know how delicate and beautiful that is but you know if you scratch it and um, it's pretty obvious and um, quickly so the base of this is lambskin i can see like a couple of little nail marks and um, just from placing this down because it hasn't got feet and um, so that could be an issue if you don't and um, take super super good care of your bags um, and like to get a bit more use out of them uh yes i think if you've got it in the caviar it would be very durable but certainly in the raffia, no, definitely not. And the final con of this bag, in my opinion, is the availability. So um, I did have to get it through a reseller. Granted, I didn't pay a premium in particular for it. Uh, but yes, the price of this thing is just ridiculous. Like, <laughs> I can't believe how much you can sell Chanel for, like secondhand, it's absolutely ridiculous. Um, yes, yeah, so if I was to sell this, even in the condition that it is, have me owning it for, you know, the last year and a half, I would easily clear one and a half thousand dollars profit and um, so yes that makes it a little bit tricky to get your hands on and um, from the boutique but i don't think it's impossible i mean i think you can you can walk in it's happened to me you can walk in you can buy a really desirable bag you just happen to be the right place in the right time um yes but in terms of getting it exactly when you want it that could be a little bit of a challenge uh, but don't give up hope Okay, so what fits inside the bag? I think you're gonna be pleasantly surprised. I was very, very happy with the um, capacity of this little thing. Um, so here it is empty. So the first thing I'm gonna do is utilize that little lipstick space there and just put a lipstick in that. Because I think that's really cute, isn't it? It's like a cute little detail that Chanel do in their pieces. Beautiful, so that's that. Um, now I am filming on my Samsung phone which is the s21 in the regular size uh, but i do have my old phone which was a google i know look at this i don't use apple i only use android um, and it's the maxi size of the three series i believe so it's bigger than my current phone and it goes in easily like literally look at that just fits down the front of the bag there and um, next i am going to put in my key holder it's a six key holder from Louis Vuitton and then I'm going to put in my card holder oh my gosh easy 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 look at that there's still room okay so I am not a Apple user so I don't have airpods but if you see that space there that is like the perfect space here to fit in your airpods I would just use my husband's but he's at work at the moment um definitely so they would easily fit in there and then I'm going to even put my glasses on the top lay them across the top so you could just put your sunglasses in there instead um, and then this closes easily there is not even a question look at all that okay there we go hasn't misshapen it in any way that closed so easily there was no squeezing at all and there was that extra space remember for your airpods you could also probably put a hand cream or a sanitizer in there as well um but yeah heaps of room keys phone card holder a little bit of makeup and if you wanted even more room you could just take your cards out of your um holder and shove them in the back in those little compartments and that's going to free up even more space um but yeah no worries whatsoever so how good is that the fact that you could just literally fit your phone in there across ways perfect okay so i'm just going to insert um a video of me modeling this oh gosh there it is um, so you can see it on my shoulder first of all now for reference i am 164 centimeters tall um, and i am a size 8 to 10 australian or a size 4 to 6 us um, and i have pretty wide hips as well and um, so when it's on my shoulder the bag hits a little lower than I would prefer. It's actually below my hip bone, uh, especially at the top of my thigh where it hits. Some people prefer that. I prefer a shorter strap drop. Um, so when I put it cross body, I way prefer the look of that because it's actually on my hip bone. So I think if you are um, taller than me 
as a shoulder bag this is definitely going to look awesome for you because it's going to hit you right on that hip bone um, and if you're shorter than me then i would just go for the crossbody option definitely that's the way that i prefer to wear it anyway um, but yes there you can see and one thing that i'm always conscious of when i buy a small bag is does it even suit my frame my body shape at all um, and i did have some concerns about this because i couldn't try it on in the shop um, but I really, really like the look of it. I think because they have kept everything in proportion. So it's like a petite chain. It's not like a chunky bit of hardware. And the Chanel logo is petite. It matches kind of the overall size of the bag. So I think because of that reason, the bag actually doesn't look too small. It looks in proportion. Um, yes, so don't be worried um, whether the bag is just going to look too small on you. I don't think that's going to be the case at all. So that is my review for the Chanel rectangular vanity on a chain. I really hope that that was helpful. Um, I know that in my experience, when I've been buying things pre-loved or on the resale market, because I haven't been able to get them in store, even you know, to look at or to try on, I really, really rely on YouTube videos to actually inform me um, because I don't have you know the kind of experience in real life of actually looking at that item. So I hope I could contribute to that in some way. Um, thank you so much if you are new here for tuning in today. Please consider subscribing to my channel. Next week, I'm gonna be doing a few unboxings while we were in Europe the last month, um, a few things to get delivered to the house, um, including a new bag. So I'm really, really excited to open that with you. And I'm also gonna be selling some of my luxury things next week as well. I just want the space in my closet for a few items that I've bought recently to go in. So I'm gonna be selling a Saint Laurent bag, some Valentino shoes, a Burberry bag, a Gucci belt and a couple of other things as well and I won't be trying to make any money from this and I am definitely going to be selling these things at low prices because I want them gone uh, so if that is of interest to you definitely come back next week and see if you can get a bargain thank you so much for spending your time with me today I hope you have an absolutely excellent week and I will see you in my next video bye guys